In a concerted effort to tackle food insecurity in the region, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development collaborated with the World University Service of Canada, WISC Caribbean, to host a soil and water management farmer field school. The program, which lasted for two months, trained 21 farmers from across the island on various irrigation techniques and soil and water conservation methods. The graduation ceremony marked a significant milestone for the farmers who had gained valuable knowledge and skills that would enable them to improve their agricultural practices and increase their productivity. Deputy Director of WUSC Caribbean SAC Project, Munich Pussad, expressed his satisfaction with the initiative, reaffirming WUSC's commitment to supporting sustainable agriculture and food security initiatives in developing countries. The training that you got is part of a strategy in which we talk about building the capacity of market actors to enhance their production and productivity in sustainable and climate resilient agricultural markets. Now, I want to talk, when we talk about market actors from the project standpoint, we are not only talking about farmers. We can build the capacity of the Ministry of Agriculture of different units of the Ministry of Agriculture, any other market actor, including the private sector, who might need a, just a little bit of support can catalyze them to perform at a different level that allows poor farmers to benefit more. So I want all of you to know that the project is not only for the farmers. It is also aimed at the whole market system. The training program was conducted in a practical and hands-on manner with exercises designed to allow the farmers to put their newfound knowledge into practice. Director of Agricultural Services Dr. Aria King-Snack, who was present at the graduation ceremony, commended the farmers for their commitment and hard work throughout the training program. Like the rest of the other small island developing states in the region, agriculture is very, very vulnerable. We attempt to make our island food and nutrition secure, but we are continuously plagued with many threats, such as climate change, natural disasters, threats of exotic, exotic pests and diseases, predial larceny, increased food prices, input prices, cost of production, just to name a few. There is still a very long way to go a long road ahead. But rather than simply doing the bare minimum, the focus is on building a resilient, sustainable agricultural sector. Dr. Snack believes that the Farmer Field School is a significant step towards reducing food insecurity and increasing food production in the region. She expresses hope that more initiatives like this will be undertaken to achieve this goal. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.